it's Priscilla. I mean, it's gotta be Priscilla. She's the only one who's not here. Look, maybe, maybe not. We thought Muriel was the killer, and look how that turned out. We have no proof of anything. Is this the latest you've ever stayed up? This is the latest I've ever stayed up. Oh, no. Someone take Mr. Wood's golden globe. <laughs> She's right. There was a Golden Globe Award here, and it's gone. I think we may have identified our blunt object. So all we have to do is find that Golden Globe, and we'll have our murder weapon. And if we're lucky, it may just mean we'll have our killer. All right. From this moment forward, nobody leaves the group. Joe's right. Everyone huddle up. Good. Now we're going to search the house, and we're going to move as one. Anyone who separates from the group, we will assume to be the killer. All clear. Yeah, I just yeah. yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, we gotta search every one of these rooms. We'll start with Quagmire's. Oh my God! Are those Stephanie's underpants? Oh God. They're huge! Looks like the crotch got chewed on by a walrus mouth. <laughs> Look, it's got flowers. <laughs> I mean, why bother? Who's gonna see them? Maybe someone in space. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Can't we all just be glad she's dead? <laughs> Whose room is this? It's, uh, my room. You travel with a giant poster of yourself? Yes. It helps me get to sleep, knowing that Big Tom Tucker is keeping a watchful eye out for nocturnal intruders. What a ridiculous man you are. Look, I didn't know my room was going to be scrutinized. If you don't like it, let's get out of here. Not till we've searched the place. You guys? <gasps> oh my god! Well, well. I think we found our killer. Oh, now, well, now, wait a minute. That's not mine. I suppose it crawled under your bed all by itself. Well, maybe it did. I didn't murder anybody. Tell it to my judge. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, this is crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about Priscilla? We have no idea where she is. She could have planted that there. Well... I suppose it's possible. What the hell? Ah, dang it, I got a nosebleed. No, you don't. Peter, give me a boost. <laughs> You're going to jail, Tucker. Like hell I am. You're not taking me anywhere, you podunk, quahog, redneck cop. Not you or anyone else in this damn town. I'm not going to jail. <laughs> After him. Give it up, Tucker. Make me, Swanson. Damn, he's slippery. Uh, you guys give up? What do we do? Wait a minute, wait a minute, guys. I got an idea. Shoot. What if half of us go around one side of the table and the other half go around the other side, and then we won't have to chase them around in circles? Damn, that's awfully risky. It sure is. But at this point, I'm willing to try anything. All right. Let's do it! It worked! Oh, oh, let me go! Let me go, you bastards! Oh. You're all gonna pay for this! Just for that, when the movie of this story comes out, I'm gonna make sure Adrian Brody plays you. I guess that means you don't want anyone to see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right.